Well, consumers are enjoying low prices at the pump because we are producing more oil here at home. But the benefits of U.S.-made energy go beyond the pump. Our energy renaissance could lead to millions of new American jobs. Joining us is Jack Gerard, president and CEO of the American Petroleum Institute, to discuss a new study about the economic impacts of the oil and natural gas industry. Jack, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me this morning. Well, thank you, Heather. It's always good to be on your program. Well, let's start by talking about some of the interesting results that were found on this new study. Well, what we found, Heather, it was done by Wood McKenzie, an outside consulting group that's expert in the oil and gas industry. And what they did is they took a look at public policies and said, what would the potential be if we opened up our abilities here in the United States to produce more oil and gas? And then they contrasted that with the current track we're on, where a lot of these federal regulatory activities actually have... Uh, the ability to stymie or to hinder that economic activity. And they concluded that if our policies are right, we could generate another 2.3 million American jobs just in producing our own energy. We could produce upwards of another 8 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. Now that's a big shift. That's a big opportunity. And as you mentioned, as you started today, it has an impact for that which we enjoy most, and that is low gasoline prices. So. Our hope is that we'll take advantage of this opportunity. Really think of America as an uh, opportunity's presented it to be the America's superpower, or I should say the world's superpower in energy production. And the study concludes that's a very real possibility if we get our public policy right. So then, Jack, what are the public policies that you're talking about that would need to be in place for us to see these economic benefits? Well, Heather, what they looked at are, are some public lands issues uh, out in the west, as you know, particularly north of you up in the Rocky Mountain states, uh, where we have a lot of public land where there's vast oil and gas resources. If they took a look at permitting times, how long does it take to actually go from the point of seeking a permit to get on the land and produce to actually producing? Because those timelines have direct implications for where that investment dollar goes. If you can get on a, an opportunity in Australia much quicker than you can in the United States, that investment money tends to, to go to Australia. So we looked at policies like that. We looked at policies like in the Outer Continental Shelf. For over 30 30 years we have not had access to even look in the South Atlantic. Over 83% of our outer continental shelf is off limits. We're the only major power in the world that does that from an energy policy perspective. So policies like that need to be revisited. But they also looked at policies that hinder that potential, things that impact the broader economic climate in Tucson and elsewhere like ozone standards. The current ozone standard's been determined to protect the public health, yet the regulators are trying to drive that number even lower, which then would restrict our ability to bring new economic activity into the United States. So those are all the sorts of policies that have to be considered, and if done well, we could reap the benefit I talked about earlier. Well, absolutely. Jack, this is some really great information that you're sharing with our viewers this morning. I'm curious, though, what would this mean for the U.S. employment rate? Well, if you look at the U.S. employment rate to now, while we're doing a little bit better, we still have a lot of unemployed people, or I should say underemployed people. The average wage in the oil and natural gas industry is $96,000 a job. That compares to the average wage in America at $47,000 a job. So these are not only new good jobs, they're well-paying jobs. That helps families grow, develop, take care of the kids going to school, puts food on the table, lets you plan for retirement. So these types of jobs are the ones the public needs and aspires to have. And that's why it makes a major contribution to our society, our economic gain, and hopefully it will clearly have a long-term positive impact on the unemployment rate. Well, absolutely. And Jack, quickly before I let you go, where can our viewers go for more information? Well, we'd encourage them to go to our website at api.org. It's for the American Petroleum Institute, api.org. There you can find the results of this study we've talked about and other information that can better inform the public on the oil and gas and energy renaissance that we're experiencing in the country today. And then we'd encourage your viewers to get involved in the public debate, to express their views, to encourage their public policy officials. Let's make sure we get the policy right 
and we'll be able to uh, achieve the great potential we have as a nation. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you, Heather. Good to visit with you. Now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back. <laughs>